Aloha, y'all. In today's video, I'm going to carve a walking stick out of strawberry guava. It's kind of a continuation of a video I did of a review of an axe, a pack axe, made by Council Tools. And I'll provide a link in the description box to that video. And I'm on my homestead. And in that video, I cut down a, a portion of strawberry guava to make room for a cacao tree or a chocolate tree. For If you don't know what cacao is, it's what you make chocolate out of. And I wanted to, you know, clear an area, get some sun, and start planting a couple cacao trees um, shortly. And I have a bunch of strawberry guava logs that I could use as trellis material. I could use it around the homestead. I can make a bow out of it. I can make a walking stick. So I've got these, this uh, lumber here that I could uh, make a video. Uh, I got a couple videos that I can make. <laughs> I mean, geez. I uh, got a plenty of material here and strawberry guava is not a hardwood it's obviously fruiting it fruits and it's flexible it's really flexible and it's uh, kind of I guess a medium uh, hardness uh, it's not like super tough it's not like the ohia uh, the redwood kind of uh, ironwood that we have here and I'm going to be using to carve this walking stick I'm going to be using a knife I'm be using the LT Wright GNS, and uh, that's an awesome knife. I got it for carving, so this is gonna be perfect. So don't go away, and check out how I carve a walking stick. Okay, here's a pile of logs, strawberry guava. I think this one's going to be the walking stick. This seems a decent stick for walking with. And then I was looking, this one would be perfect for a bow. I could do another video probably make a bow out of that it's pretty I mean maybe this part would be a nice bow and then I could use this for a trellis uh, you know for uh, lilikoi passion fruit or maybe uh, some uh, green beans or something like that so I could use this for a trellis and I got plenty of other material that I could use for you know uh, a fence or something or whatever I can make a couple spears Give you a close-up of strawberry guava and the bark. It's kind of got a camo pattern to it. It's pretty interesting. And then the knife I'm going to use is an LT Wright GNS. So let's take off some of the bark here. I'll give you a close-up what, what the bark looks like. So, the bark looks like, and then the interior wood. I love this knife. Super sharp. Holds an edge forever. It's just so slicey. Now this is obviously green, but I'm just gonna make a temporary walking stick. I might dry it later and see if I can keep it, you know, and protect it. Make sure I get all these knots out. You want to see the cool patina? forming. That's what guava does. It does like a purple, bluish, black patina. It's really cool. Kind of like a coconut. Coconut will do that as well. It's a good test for this carving knife because there's some really strong knots and it's grinding right through them. 
smooth this out. Here's a look at that patina again. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. It's beautiful. Wow. Okay, so now we've got uh, this bottom part. Work on it a little bit. I kind of want to flatten it out. I might just saw this down. I just saw it off the bottom and I want to round it so it's not so square or round whatever you want to call it this is I'm gonna get rid of this edge This is why I made the notch right there. I made some coconut cordage in another video. And if you recognize that seashell, you'll recognize the video that I did where I made a seashell necklace with uh, coconut cordage. And I'll provide a link in the description box for that. And this is a crystal that I had wire wrapped a few years ago, meaning to be a necklace, but never got around to making a necklace with it. And this is a OPE. I finished the walking stick or walking staff. It's about this high. I like I like this length. It's good. You want to be careful when you're carving you want to be uh, real careful with the sharp knife and so what I added here is a couple of seashells just drilled a hole in them and then I added a crystal and I made some coconut cordage in another video and I'll provide a link in the description box to that and you can go watch that and see how I made a coconut cordage uh, seashell necklace and that's why I carved those notches in there and yeah there you go pretty simple straightforward nothing too fancy uh, you just want to make sure it's smooth and you don't your hand doesn't get caught on anything and in the jungle these are great because there's plenty of uh, what we call pukas and there's just holes in the ground in the lava or it could cave in because it's, there's a lava tube under where you're walking right and it just collapses so you got to be careful in the jungle and a lot of times you know there'll be mud or or uh, you know like some roots will be uh, you know covering up a hole and you can step right into there and you know get your leg uh, caught so while walking in the jungle this is a pretty useful item and uh, yeah just simple quick I wanted to make a video on this and test out my uh, new LT Wright GNS and look at this patina wow isn't that a cool patina is that amazing great patina uh, from this uh, guava wood, this strawberry guava wood. 
and this knife performed excellent. It's thin. You can see how thin it is. It's definitely my carving knife. That's why I got it. One of the kind of a dedicated uh, bushcraft carving knife. And I think uh, I don't know, I'm in love with this knife. I, oh yeah, I like it. And there you go. Uh, a wizard walking stick in the jungle. And I want to thank you for the like. Thank you for the subscription. Make sure you hit the bell symbol to get notifications for when I upload a video. You can watch it and tell me what you think. Check me out on Instagram at His Survival. And share this video and comment. I love all your comments. And until next time, aloo.